ready for you. I'll eat to them. Hey my beautiful crafters, so in this tutorial I'm going to show you how I made this watercolor tumbler. I know there's a lot of watercolor tutorials out there but this is kind of like my version so if you guys are interested to know how I got this, keep on watching. So what you need is really alcohol inks and also I'm using 99% alcohol and also this watercolor paint brush where you can put where you can actually put water inside the paint brush instead of water i'm going to put in 99 percent alcohol inside this paint brush thingy i hope i'm making sense but i will link it down below in the description box if you are interested to get it So prep wise, I actually use spray paint instead of my usual universal white only because alcohol inks onto universal white, it, they don't glide as nice also they tend to stain the universal white instead of gliding onto the base so I don't quite like the effect and thus why I chose spray paints for this one so at this stage, I'm actually just winging it. I am just choosing colors of my preference and I'm just putting on the tumbler. So basically that's what really you just need to do. You just have to you just have to randomize the colors onto the tumbler. And that's it, really. But if I was being honest with you, I had no clue what I was doing at this point. I was just trying so hard to blend my colors together with this tiny little brush which is not really helping with blending if you ask me. I will help you speed up this video so that you can see how it actually turns out in the end. So if you're also wondering why my base was not touched was because in the end I actually cleaned it with acetone so that I didn't have to seal my bottoms or rather the, the tumbler's bottoms so, um, so it doesn't really matter where your alcohol inks go because at the end of the day you can still clean it up nicely with acetone and also, if I could redo this, I would definitely make my alcohol inks more concentrated in an area, just like the red that I'm doing. Because at the end of the day, the concentrated areas really turn out nice and it shows even more. So I'm just going to fast forward this because it's really, really long. <laughs>
so as you can see at the end i really went for the concentrated watercolor look because at that point of time i kind of like it like that and i didn't want to do the whole watercolor washed out look And so I kind of got tired and quite frustrated with the tumbler because it wasn't really turning out how I wanted it to be. I left it on my table for the whole entire week. I did not touch it and this is how it looks like after a whole week. And I kind of didn't know what to do with it. I also didn't like how it looked like. So so I decided to do a little bit of experiment and that is to take a little bit of alcohol and a brush and just brush it down well to be honest my my initial thought was to dip this tumbler into a bucket full of alcohol but I didn't have enough so I ended up brushing down And this is how it looks like guys It will look ugly And it will also look like a hot mess Not forgetting, it will look like as though you have made a mistake Because guess what? It is a mistake It's a beautiful mistake that I made And I am quite in love with the tumbler So as you can see when I put on a lot of alcohol, it just dissolves everything and it kind of softens the whole entire look. But what you guys didn't know is I was actually overdoing this bit also. I put too much, I kind of meddled too much and thus um, some parts turned quite murky. So I let it sit for a bit and then I came back to it and I looked at it and I didn't like it. I wasn't in love with it but at the same time, I didn't hate it either. So I was quite torn and thus I took out my alcohol inks again and I started adding more alcohol inks which was so stupid. So if you are recreating this look, don't follow this step because this is quite redundant and I was just experimenting so you shouldn't be following this step so you know me as the girl who makes the mistakes right and I made a mistake by not recording this step this crucial step and the mistake is How I got to this point Oh my god I, I was so angry that it didn't turn out So I stopped recording And what I did was just simply washing off with soap As you can see at the bottom bit There's that concentrated red spot That's because I chose not to scrub at the bottom area so that you can see the difference if I don't scrub versus the parts where I scrub this is how it looks like if you like this experiment help me like this video also after that I seal it with Rust-Oleum clear spray and then I waited 24 hours before putting on my first bright tone. After 3 to 4 hours I put on my second coat of bright tone. After which if you want to put vinyls or anything you can put after the second coat of bright tone. But for me, I'm just going to end my tutorial like this and I hope you guys enjoy this. If you do, please let me like, share and subscribe. I know I always say that after every video but it really means a lot to me. So thank you guys. Bye!